Testing, testing, testing. Hello, uh, this is Fred Wilbur, and uh, I, I wanted to um, just exemplify uh, some drawings, and and these are drawings which I try to do. To exemplify uh, more depth, and here you see figures that I've just done in uh, a black watercolor. Plain black watercolor. And it makes me think of oh, calligraphy in a sense. And the reason it makes me think of calligraphy is because of the, the brush stroke that is, is used when, when doing these kinds of things. Got our watercolors. We've got s some blue left, and there's a little black. And I'm going to use my one of my watercolor paint brushes. Get a little water there. Dab a little paint. And again, uh, when I do these kinds of things, I uh, I end up with action figures a lot of times. So here we have a little a little purple man. And here I have someone going off in the other direction. And like I said, just using a little watercolor. a single brush stroke in the sense that I'm letting the the fiber of the the brush do my detail and wherever I'm holding my brush for more than the typical fraction of a second I'm getting a darker you. So if I wanted the hair detail, so this is my third figure, the hair detail, I held the brush there longer. And that's my third figure on your left. I'm just going to put a little um, ground for them that they're running or they're walking on. A little more water on my brush. I'm going to wet my, my color erase pencil. So they get a deeper, 
deeper green, a darker green, and a painted effect. My brush a little. And I'm just going to take some of whatever's left on the brush and I'm going to put a dog down here using what I think of as a more uh, depthifying, depth, D E P T H, depthifying. Um, then regular flat painting where you're putting a lot of paint on the brush and what got me seeing things this way really is that I, I was just uh, experimenting and some of the things I was doing when I was using I mean and now I'm using the purple watercolor some of the things that were coming out when I was using the black were looking to me like um, the, the negatives when you know, I don't know if we s some of us still do that when you used to bring your um, your uh, film to the drugstore to get it processed. They used to give you the little uh, negatives. And when I was using, the, I'm saying when I was using the black paint and I was doing the figures, they reminded me of the negatives. which was as close as I got to um, uh, portraiture or, or f photography in, in, my, in my paintings that I was doing. But I'm sa I was thinking, hey, this is great. If I, could, if I could do, if I ever got to the point where I could just take a, a paintbrush and have it look like something of a photo without without even having a model present you know I mean that'd be uh, really good so I put on some uh, some cloud work uh, using the blue reason I made the calligraphy analogy is because you know when you're doing um, lettering you try not to lift the pencil up off the paper too much sort of one motion so same thing same thing with the uh, with these kinds of figures if you want to to your detail, you just do it using letting the the uh, bristles, letting the bristles do the work, holding the brush there a little longer. If I wanted to put a tire on him, for example, hold the brush there a little longer. I've had incidences where the figure just I will I will do just one or two brush strokes and the figure just is there and and it, uh, there to the extent that you could even the eyes and uh, the hair you could see a little the little ear forming well b almost all by itself I mean you're doing it but it, it sort of just com comes out And it's nice when it's your innermost consciousness exemplifying itself through a single brush stroke. Yeah. you could see the only thing I did on this leftmost figure 
the only thing I did was um, hold the, the brush there longer. I mean, it would it would actually be uh, on your right, the the rightmost figure. I'm saying. The only thing I did was hold the brush. You see where his tie is? His eyes are, are more exemplified than the other figures. His lips, you could see his hair. His hands. His, his, he has a nice stance. And that's the thing about these figures. Is you get, or I have gotten, a better stance. And I just want to show you an exa another example one moment. I did this um, book cover many years ago. I mean, this is almost this is like nine years ago, and I I used the black watercolor on the book cover. So the book the book is called Chiefs. Now, if you look at the upper right hand corner, there is a couple kissing, and this is what I mean about getting a better stance, th the way they're standing, the, the, the way the legs, the, the presence of the, the, the weight that comes through. And look at the end. She's actually a little taller than he is, because you can see the female with the longer hair. And her legs are, are separated there, and his legs are together. But the his features are very his his bodily features are very defined his legs his back and and, and the, the weight of their bodies with this with this technique is is really good this is the cover of chiefs which i did in 2004 which is an example of this kind of painting now inside There's a couple also using uh, where I've also used the the black watercolor, and of course I've added some other colors in the background, and he's looking right at her like there's a direct glance in at her, and she's looking forward. She's a, she's darker. Background is also nice watercolor, red and green. The features, see, I, I have at this in this uh, drawing, I have used a lot of the black to do the bodies and the hair. But then I came back with the with the regular black. Um, it looks like a might be ballpoint pen, might be um, like the flare pens. And I've gone over their their faces and uh, such. But the background sort of fades out. It is trees and such. And there's a there's a sun in the sky. How pleasant seasons were experienced in New York. These days, Joe enjoyed being outside. The greenery seemed to make up for everything else that wasn't fine. Today, he was gaining acceptance of the Isle Tide, since he was not there. This figure done in all green and yellow watercolor.
Okay. I was just trying to get more light over here. And this is again the, the couple that were kissing and who, who I put on the, the cover. And you could see how silhouettish it really is. But you, you really almost get a sense that these two people, that there are two people there holding each other and it's sort of like the, the like I say, the photo negative. And there's such an expansive ground around them, it looks like the beach. Here's a mixed media, I see a mixed media, it looks like watercolor and pen and pencil. I, uh, they're dancing. I don't know if you could see the clouds are very light, light blue. They are sort of hold, holding hands. He's got a, he's got a tie. She's almost leading in the front there. It is a lot of the light black watercolor. Greenery around them. And again, this woman is reaching up, reaching up to a book on a high, high shelf. And you have this couple, these couples here. And something a bit fun and abstract on the last page of the book is the design. This book is in orange book cloth, except on the, the end here where there's a, a lavender piece of um, um, paper. But it's a very thick paper. Here's your, your paste downs inside. And this book was actually sewn in. You can see the um that there were three places where it was sewn in. I mean there if you go to the middle the middle of the book looks like this. Uh, when he was with Miss Frillowitz, things were fine. She wore shortened lavender jogging suits. They liked to sit in front of her large green tank with her dog Cheeps. In the background, there on a shelf was a blue bowl for time to unroll. So, Cheeps is actually this this little dog on the lower left with the brown spots.
the greeting card. This was done in the ballpoint pen in the park. Three people gathered, running and playing. See the trees in the back? In a strange shape to the front of the card. Unique. Um, it says Sugarless Compliments by Fred Goldberg. It's blank inside. Yeah. Just left this elong sort of elongated on, on the front. This is just it's just uh um, this is just pen. But the figures are all are all smiling and play very playful. Again, an example of using this was done in uh, 2004. But you can see just how small, I mean, this is, if you could see my finger in proportion, that's my finger there on top, so proportion, these figures are very small. But the brush was doing the details as well, hands and feet, and there's a couple in on your right, uh, upper right there. And on the left, there's a woman just walking. See her hands in front, her arms in front of her. See all the hair. The, look at the shoes. And I mean, this was done. Th this figure was done in a matter of seconds because the brush takes practice. But when your imagination um, uh, shows up in your artwork without needing to consciously say well I'm gonna do a foot now and you're gonna work 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 does this look like a foot does this look like a foot does this look like an arm Practice, practice, practice. And more practice. And more practice. Just take a piece of paper and take some uh, little paint and work on work the figures until you start getting the figures you like and have them do whatever you like, whatever you choose. And of course, I like to do backgrounds like foliage. You know, if you have your figures and you want to put them in the proper, you want to put them in the particular environment that you enjoy, whether it be like that, or whether it be more like this. Thank you. My, my name is Fred Goldberg. I can be reached at 347-628-5420. That's my cell phone that I don't always carry. 
So if you get the message, please leave your name and I will get back to you as soon as I can. 347-628-5420. If you send me an email, please uh, be, you know, um, clear in the subject that you saw the video about the drawing and you, you know, this is your, um, it's J-U-N-T-U-N-E 2-0-0-0-0 at yahoo.com so it's John J-U-N Tune T-U-N-E 2000-2-0-0-0 at yahoo.com And have a great day. And bye for now.